Hi, you guys. I want to do car videos, but okay, in San Diego, it would be super dangerous to drive. My car is still dirty. Uh, the street lady didn't want, well, the homeless lady didn't want my food, so I thought I would start doing videos. Join me for lunch. Okay, so you can see I've been busy. I'm making good, li <laughs> good use of my time, and I have to tell you something funny. Okay, I posted a video for you guys to see by Miles Johnston, and it was The Imposters. The not we people, okay, aliens up to no good. So it's on my Twitter or just, you know, do a Google search. And so now I'm nervous. And one of the traits of the imposters is they don't like to eat, right? So I said to the, the street lady, would you like a lunch? And she said, oh, no, no. I said, well, you can give it to your friends or you could eat it later. And she said, I don't have any friends. I go, okay. So here is my, you know, she really, if she's not an alien, she really should have taken this food. I made this last night. These are individual pizzas. That was really sweet. I got some napkins at McDonald's. I don't want to eat my own lunch in McDonald's. I think that's rude. Okay, so. Now I'm nervous. I'm looking at everybody. Are you an imposter? And there's another alien uh, race that um, occurred to me. And uh, if you noticed in the comic book, it said something parallel, uh, Green Lantern. And he didn't want to give up his uh, ring, I guess, superpowers. Can't say I blame him. I won't fight for the death, but I don't want to give it up. Okay, so the, what the comic books, I don't know if these uh, comic books are suitable for kids, really. Uh, there is there is a parallel reality and some fairly nasty type individuals could be in that but w the one uh, aliens that I want to talk about I don't know if you here's my vegetables the lady should have taken my food if she wasn't an alien she had a beard oh wow this was crazy. She had a beard and she had highlighted hair and I thought, don't they do waxes? <laughs> okay, so I have a little piece of steak. Yummy. You guys. This steak is from Marie Callender's. It's very yummy. Their food is very reasonable. And so my son told me there's a Marie Callender's by my house. And then I save my, these are good. These are, these are um, steamed vegetables and they didn't over steam them. So they're tasty the next day. Okay, so these, these drawings of various aliens and stick people, I have food in my teeth, can take on a life. Uh, it's not really good, but you know, you might not want to let impressionable children, uh, you know, view this stuff. But I was telling my son, when you were a little boy, I think I could have said, okay, it's a parallel reality, it might be the devil. So, you know, if these comic book figures start taking on a life of their own, it's not good, but it does exist. And my son could understand that. And this was super funny to me. I had um, 
it was a crazy thing. I forget, uh, in the video number two, it said, I like creepy too, and the person sent me $1.99. That was my own son. So he's been raised like this. We can examine things. We don't have to freak out. And so these um, comic book figures, uh, certain people become very um, obsessed with comic books. I collect them because they become valuable. I have some old Incredible Hulk, well, my son's got them out, Incredible Hulk comic books. And if you read them, they're really good. And I was telling my son, I noticed also about the comic books a fifth grader can easily read them. So, you know, you have to say, do I want my fifth grader reading this stuff? Okay, so what did I pack? <laughs> you know, uh, in the day, you know, when my uh, grandfather, yummy, 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 Lunch was leftovers from dinner. It was usually me uh, meat and bread. Okay, let me see if I can find it. I want to tell you guys something. Oh, and I have the all-time most lovable followers ever. I was reading the comments, you know, about the meanie who, who um, said my makeup looked like ho hooker makeup. And all the... All the followers were nice, and they go, it does not. Well, well, if you look on the intro picture, that's the makeup. It just looked ugly. I think I have a cheap computer. Okay, so I went to 99 cents, and I bought apricots, and when I get home, I'm going to dehydrate them. And one of the lovable followers, Mandy, gave us her bread recipe, and I'm gonna make a little batch of bread as well. And then I bought lemons, 99 cent only. I bought two packages of apricots and I will dehydrate them. But I have to do that after I bake and I will make some thumbprint cookies to eat with my tea. Okay, so the stick figures, the parallel reality stuff is kind of creepy. And there's soup, there's occult drawings of like little stick people and those are very creepy they can take on a life of their own and so you know uh, maybe you're the type who doesn't like to think about occultist stuff and it's all evil but it is going to start showing up in our culture I think so uh, that was one thing I wanted to discuss and then the other thing is I will be I will be uh, steaming vegetables like big quantities these are good I think there's just butter on them Marie Kimmel calendars. Okay, the other thing. You guys should all subscribe to Mike Morales. Last night in his video, you know, he was showing these flooded areas. I mean, miles and miles. It was, it was Missouri and another state. I forgot. And he said, what happened to these people? And I'm thinking, yeah, what happened to these people? I don't see how they could be in FEMA camps already, not saying that they aren't in FEMA camps. Um, the trick to good pizzas on um, English muffins is the good cheese. Tonight, I really have to make something maybe with that uh, spaghetti sauce, we'll see. Okay, it's, um, it's July, and so I was thinking when I was going to buy the swap meat stuff, uh, I sell my stuff uh, in the wintertime, around Christmas. Well, it's still winter, 
in these flooded places. Unless it's hot and muggy. I've been to Missouri. I've been to St. Louis. It's hot there. In which case, all that water would uh, probably cause more, um, what is that, humidity. Another thing they have in places that's horrible is uh, mold. Which it, in California, everyone freaks out if you see mold. Also, we don't have many insects, and those insects are, are something to consider, too. Uh, when I went to uh, Houston, I, they had killer bees, gigantic roaches, massive swarms of katydids. You know, I thought, wow, and I was at Astro World, and people were walking by with flea bites, lots of bug bites. We don't have that so much in California. It's not that it's not a hospitable environment, it's that we pesticide them, which I think is a good idea. So you want to consider um, insects. They can, be, they can be worse than pests. Okay, so what I was thinking about, uh-oh, you know, in a few months, they said the problem is going to be when the snow melts. What happens when those giant bodies of water freeze? The place is going to be like a giant freezer. Uh, you know, a lot of people say it's global warming. It's global warming. And it is, but it's also the solar minimum. You know, today it's nice and breezy. Uh, not much sunlight out here. So you have to say to yourself, can I survive some uh, cold cold weather. I'm losing my... Okay, I think I got a solar minimum here. Okay, so if things get really, really um, cold, can I survive? If not, you want to get out of there for sure. So consider packing. I tried, I tried to get the lady to take the food. She wouldn't. I don't blame her. You know, the um, idea of eating other people's food is a little bit unsavory if you really think about it. And so when I get home, I will be making bread, I will be making cookies, and I will be dehydrating apricots. Okay, you guys, God bless you all.